Guys, our local drag strip, Bradenton Motorsports Park, has been destroyed. But it is in an effort to make the facility a whole lot better. So check out some of these photos of them tearing it down. And also, they did the same thing as the Freedom Factory and came up with some milling jars for people who love the track to purchase. I think they only have about 100 left, but I figured I'd throw them on here anyway for some of you who really want them. They are spending a lot of money to make this place better. Let's get to the live action so you can see it. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. All right, guys, check it out. We successfully burned a burn pile and didn't have a forest fire. Pretty excited about it. That's a new record for us. Two buddy guys, we are out here at Rayton Motorsports Park and you can see our beloved drag strip has been torn up and is being replaced with concrete, baby. So it was all asphalt. Now we have a concrete quarter mile out here. During the summer, the asphalt will get waterlogged and Victor, our boy, owner of Rayton Motorsports Park, invested a humongous chunk of change to make this happen. So this is just a massive investment where most people are investing money in drag strips. Victor went all out. So they're pouring a lot of concrete, 100 and 10 trucks of concrete. Yeah. Yeah, they went all out. This is the most legit company you can get for this stuff. They do drag strips for a living. Wow. It's really smooth. That's impressive, man. Beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back a week later. And look at this place. So, concrete for the burnout box is all done. Live action, they're, uh, forming up here nice little v-wall here and then if you look they actually moved our starting line tree out further to be uh where it's supposed to properly be before it was actually really close to the starting line so i guess this is the start box still this is where we'll be staged up that looks a little nicer a little further out yeah a little bit a little bit more <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of close so you can see we got concrete down there just past the eighth mile and then we'll cruise down there and show you the rest of it in asphalt. So also, one of the greatest things about this entire new project that uh, Victor, you know, he went all out. Not only did he upgrade to concrete, look at these bleachers, brand new freaking bleachers. These are actually from a drag strip just south of us that closed. We had originally bought some of these bleachers and ended up selling them to Vic because they didn't work at the Freedom Factory, but look at that dude, all That's aluminum. Huge, look at them humongous so those ones got to be clean still they just went ahead and put them back up but look at those ones that, that is a beautiful beautiful set of bleachers they were all just these wooden ones and just look at that one i mean you can see how beat up and old that set is that is probably one of the nicer sets of bleachers that used to be here and now victor and his guys tore all of these out and put in this beautiful set of aluminum bleachers. That they asphalted under the bleachers before they put them in. So before yeah. it was over dirt, so you had to walk. It was like dirt, and sand, and, stuff and like that. yeah. So now it's asphalt they get for the bleachers. Yeah, so look at that. So cool. all asphalt, dude. That is huge. I mean, we're gonna be able to have a lot of people here. I mean, look how big the stands are. Like, I mean, we're <laughs> almost at the. We're about three hundred feet. Yeah, and, and they're down the track. They're and still there's still bleachers to ripping, go. and there's still more coming for over here. So. It's looking amazing. So not only will we have one of the best racing services in the country, we'll have some of the best bleachers to go with it for the spectators who want to see some of the drag racing. So the concrete's obviously here and dried, which is nice to see that there's no big puddles or anything. Everything looks very level, but the concrete work is not over yet. So they're actually going to be grinding the top of the concrete and then polishing it. And there's a finish that they're going to be going for so that the rubber sticks to the track in the most ideal way possible apparently this uh polish that they're gonna go with really gets the rubber locked down to the surface which will make it a way better drag racing surface for us the asphalt on the middle of a hot day you go out there and peel it up it's kind of uh kind of done for so apparently this concrete is a new way to go also won't hold heat nearly as much should reflect it a little bit better yeah, it should also give us so down here because there's an asphalt track when it got too hot yeah. it would stop our racing because the track temp would rise to the point to where you yeah. kind of go down it so okay. now with you know having a full concrete track we can race longer into the season when yeah. it's hot out yep. and one of the biggest problems was the asphalt would let water rise through it concrete ain't gonna do that we just probably got four or five inches of rain and it's and already almost dry look at that i mean it's there's yeah. no standing water it literally poured water like so so you got a couple puddles but 
it's not bad at all it just rained a ton looks like the asphalt drained really good too so we are in good shape I'm not gonna lie you used to get on the big end you had to dodge some potholes yeah not no <laughs> it's more. looking That's pretty good that is sick hey buddy McFrong racing sign still looking clean dude all right we're gonna head over to the freedom factory show you what we did to the old mustang because the damage went a little bit deeper than what we showed you by the way i meant to say on the drag strip a couple weeks of work still left on it they got to grind it polish it put rubber down and then we will go out there and hopefully make some hits but still several more weeks until she's ready in other news show show me the broken parts back dude. on all fours but you had some tore up stuff <laughs> i know so i really did it this time Drive shots all, we know is done. You all seen this. Yep. But uh and the piece that's missing. The is piece about that's that missing thick. your trophy. We measured the backup one that we put in it, so we're gonna get another spare. Yeah. But well, when I had it up in the air, I was like, let me spin this tire to spin the drive shaft to get the other U bolts out. Didn't well spin. Nothing spun. So I was like, huh. <laughs> Did some winner's quick change research and found out uh You got that full floater, baby. You broke an axle. Yeah. So uh easy to pull it out though really easy to do you just pull the pull the wheel pull the hub and out comes the axle oh you have to pull the wheel out how to pull the other side off yeah the the if the hole was bigger in the center of the rim you could yeah so would that be considered a floater it's a full floater rim. okay cool so it's flying on both yeah. ends this is your hub end really snapped or this clean. was inside the diff end yeah and we were able to find some axles for 100 bucks yeah. we got them sent over and they're already yeah, in summit racing had uh they carry a couple brands that make these axles it's very common it's a nascar style rear you end. know the deal so, brother it's a nascar uh, engine so you know um was able to get a few got a few spares uh nice thing is both sides are the same length beautiful so uh so yeah, we're back in action back together full of fluid yeah if the track wasn't wet guys we'd go rip it so we're gonna come back to this thing tomorrow and try and make some laps in it but we got fresh axles in it we got drive shaft back in it she's ready to rip full of fresh fluid back on all fours fresh meats ready to go come on all right guys check this rig out not only do we have the world's coolest work table <laughs> the rip saw we have now the world's baddest mandrel so this is a steel mandrel versus we were using an aluminum one. So not only are we gonna step that up a little bit, but Jones Racing, you know, they got us hooked up. This is key weighed, set up nice, this is way stronger. We got some brand new belts too for the fuel pump. A little this, shorter too. Yeah, give us a little more clearance. Yeah. So this should be the end all for uh, the mandrel issue. Plus we got a new alternator and a new fuel pump. So we should be dialed in. Yeah, I figured Sam Spraylax would just cover that up, but. <laughs> Sam, I thought your spray wax would cover these up. No. Oh. Thought it was supposed to hide scratches. It does, but you know, I don't know if that's really a scratch. I think it's more about being in the grinder category there. That's not, Ooh. dude, that's in the hammer category. That's in the hammer category. You gonna take care of that? That's get in her, the, I need a bigger hammer category. Get her patched up for us. Yeah. Zap it up, push it out. It's, uh, Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Easily. It looks brand new. Yeah. It's coming along, dude. That wrap kept her protected. Yeah, so. it's like brand new under there. Yeah. You ready to do some driving? Put that toter home back on the road? All right, where are we going? Streetcar takeover Indy, dude. Oh, we're doing it. Next weekend. Yes, okay. sir. We get, we get to take Blazer, yeah. Blazer, Elfco, and Ruby. You getting axles? I got axles. Dude, fire me up. So uh, <laughs> we're out. Let's do Frickin it. Freaking Jack Stan gonna be on vacation but family reunion gotta do what you gotta do brother Keep well that 240 would have been out there destroying that small tire Shh. class they were they're, they're lucky, they're lucky. <laughs> consider Give everyone at streetcar takeover lucky You're on stand james by. had a trip plan <laughs> yeah we were looking at the schedule and streetcar takeover indy was uh coming up we were like shoot we can make that so we gotta repair some stuff obviously we got a blazer with no heads on it but we got a new bumper some other stuff to get this thing done we got a belly tray for it rod catcher 9000 so we will put the heads back on, put the blower back on, get all that stuff good to go. The El Camino is going to be part of a little something this weekend. So we're getting this thing done. Freaking brand new mandrel down there. The steel kind, so hopefully it doesn't break. Really like hoping that. it doesn't break. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a copper vent line for the transmission now because we melted a couple of vent lines on Rocky Mountain Race Week. We got a new turbo mount because somehow we lost this whole mount. This thing it was gone at the end of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Actually, it was Midwest Drags they lost. It. Really? So yeah, that thing was just gone. No idea how. Hate to run that over. Yeah. So the car's coming back together. Ty's working on Leroy. 
Old Leroy is just taking some time, but he's coming together. Problem is we keep pulling him off for side quests, but we'll get this thing rocked out. So if you guys want to come to Streetcar Takeover Indy, look up tickets online. That is next weekend. We will be out there with three cars. So come check out some racing. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for now. We will freaking see you later.